Hi guys, now this is the new Stubby Cobalt Double Drive Screwdriver. Comes with the driver and six uh, little bit turrets or carousels, holders, whatever you want to call it. First thing I tried to do was put this on the ratchet. Doesn't fit. Uh, these came on this uh, holder where it was all arranged like this, but this is not really a a uh, long-term storage case is just for packaging. All right. So the main thing about the Cobalt Double Drive is you hold this uh, this collar, this sleeve, and you turn it, and you get a righty tighty, lefty tighty, a righty loosey, lefty loosey type of uh, motion. All right. Let's focus on uh, the left-right markings here. And you can see how it just goes in one direction, regardless of how I turn the handle. So that's Cobalt's double drive uh, mechanism. If you don't want to hold the shaft, or the sleeve collar, okay, then it acts kind of like a ratcheting driver, where you turn and move, and then you go back, it ratchets uh, backwards. Right, so you could use this in a ratcheting manner. Hands-free, you just don't have a, a fastener, like a demo station here. Or you hold the sleeve, and it goes twice as fast. Uh, what I like is the balance. Holding in one hand, it's pretty, well, you got to stay away from the sleeve if you do it with one hand. Holding in one hand, it's pretty comfortable. Uh, double dry mechanism. It's compact. My hands don't get in the way of each other. Um, it's actually a nice balance, nice size. It's, I like that it's compact and easy to use. Now when you want to switch directions, just pull out this little knob. I don't know what to call it. The nose. You pull the nose and that switches direction. We push it back to go in the other way. There's no like middle ground where where uh, you could just use a manual driver. So it's either ratcheting driver or double drive. You can't just use it like a regular manual screwdriver. Uh, you have bit storage. Sadly, this does not fit in. But you still put a fair number of bits inside. All right, the, the threads actually feel uh, pretty, uh, pretty good. So this is not gonna be a wearable part. Some ratcheting drivers or portable screwdrivers for EDC or uh, uh, tool bag use. The threads are, they just get messy after the first couple of times. Here, it seems to be hard enough plastic that uh, it'll cause no problems. Now, it is uh, magnetic, and I'm surprised to see that there's a little E clip holding the magnet in. A lot of times, when you have a magnet glued in, it will pop out after little use or if there's poor quality control. So, here's actually how to see it's mechanically. Uh, fixed inside the the bit holder. Now this is not a very high quality tool. You can see the shaft is just uh, very thick. It's finished. Uh, higher quality drivers are tapered or be finished a little uh, nicer. But yeah, I'm actually impressed. Build quality is nice on the driver. Uh, it seems like there's metal gears inside, not plastic, so it's good. And the bits themselves, they're okay. I mean, it's a starter bit set. But it looks like they're plated, and I really don't like plated bits because plated bits tend to uh, uh, not crack, but they, they flake off uh, plating. Actually, you could see, or maybe you can't, uh, one of the slotted bits looks like it was just painted with a plating, and there's a nub on top. It wasn't finished properly. So these are not high-quality precision bits, but for the money, you can't really complain. And... But what I do like is that the holders are nice rubber. So even if I, what I might do is toss out the bits and keep the holders. All right, so for $10, I mean, it's a pretty good set. You get a stubby driver, it's uh, comfortable. You get starter bits and six nice little bit holders. All right, if you have any questions, uh, just let me know. Thank you for watching.